Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to calculate the number of shackles to be dropped when anchoring a ship. I will also show you how to read markings on the anchor chain to determine the number of shackles that have been laid down or dropped while letting go of the ship's anchor. But before I start, I would like to ask for a few moments of your time to hit the like button and share this video. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much, let's start. When dropping a ship's anchor, shackle is the unit of measurement used in order to determine how long the anchor cable or anchor chain has been laid down or dropped. One shackle is equivalent to 27.432 meters, which is equivalent also to 90 feet, or 15 fathoms. To determine the number of shackles, the anchor chains are linked by the Kenter shackle. For every 27.432 meters of an anchor chain, a Kenter shackle is linked to both ends of the chain. The photos show that the Kenter is painted red. On both sides of the Kenter, the chain is painted white, indicating the number of shackles. In this photo, only one anchor chain is painted with color white on both sides of the Kenter, which means that one shackle of anchor cable has been dropped. Since the markings can be seen on deck, to report it to the bridge, it is one shackle on deck. If that marking is on the water, then it is one shackle on the water, or if it is in the housepipe, then one shackle on the housepipe. This photo shows a marking that reads three shackles. This is the Kenter shackle, painted red. On both sides of the Kenter, three anchor chains are painted with color white, so the reading is three shackles. In addition to white paint on the anchor chain, a rope or a wire has been tied so that if the paint is removed, we can still determine the number of shackles. This is how to read the markings on our anchor chain in order to determine the number of shackles that have been dropped. Let us now proceed to the area where we are going to drop our anchor. Let us assume that we are now approaching to our port of destination and have been advised to drop anchor in anchorage number 13. We will determine first the depth of the water where we are going to drop our anchor. As we can see in the ectus, the depth of the water in anchorage number 13 is 25 meters. The formula that I've been using to calculate the number of anchor shackles in normal weather conditions is, depth of water in meters, times 2 in normal weather conditions, plus 90 which is constant, divided by 27.5. In bad weather conditions, number of shackles is equal to the depth of water in meters, times 3, plus 90, divided by 27.5. Let us calculate the number of shackles to be dropped in the water in normal weather conditions. So the depth of water is 25 meters, times 2 if the weather condition is good, plus 90 which is constant, divided by 27.5. The answer for the numerator is 140 meters. Since it is in meters, and the unit used is in shackles, including the markings in the anchor chain, we will divide it by 27.5 in order to convert it into a unit of shackles. In this video, I will use 27.5 as a divisor instead of using 27.432, since one shackle is equivalent to 27.432 meters. Others are using 27.4 or the exact value which is 27.432 as a divisor, but I prefer to use 27.5. So the number of shackles to be dropped in good weather conditions for a depth of 25 meters is 5 shackles on the water. In bad weather conditions such as big swells and strong wind, the number of shackles is equal to 25 meters times 3, plus 90, divided by 27.5. The answer is 6 shackles on the water. 6 shackles are to be dropped during bad weather conditions at a depth of 25 meters. For the calculation of the swing radius after the dropping of the anchor in order to determine the drag circle, I made a separate video for that, kindly check the link in the description. That's all for now guys, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, bye.